All that junk come down up on him. You think he understood that stuff? Why his friends came and sat with him and pointed their finger on us. Oh yeah, you had to do something. No, no, no. You, you would be suffering unless you did something. You had to sin, Job. But Job did it. He hadn't messed up. No. Huh? Job had a relationship with the Lord. Yes, he did. And he knew the Lord. Yes, he did. So he knew when things like that happen, I, I, I might not understand it. Huh? But, but I'm not going to question it. That's right. I don't care what my wife say. <laughs> but, <Woody. Yeah. laughs> but you suffer so much, you need to go cuss God and die. Well, I feel like doing that, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's how bad all he was. Yeah. But he didn't understand, you know. We have to realize God's ways are not our ways. Amen. God's thoughts are not Amen. our Amen. thoughts. Amen. That's why we are here, to learn more about God, who we are serving, who we proclaim to believe in, Amen. who we proclaim to be following him. Huh? And most, a lot of Christians right now have been following him for 30 or 40 years in church. But Craig, when you see them, sometimes their life haven't changed a bit. Exactly. But still, but teach you can. Can. May I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Do you think it's because they don't, that they don't know God or because they don't recognize God as God? Probably blow it both. Well, the the reason I'm asking that, the scripture said I understand. That, that they knew him as God, mm -hmm. but glorified mm -hmm. him not as God. Mm -hmm. and, so, mm -hmm. and, so, and, and so, as a result, I, 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 I think one of our biggest problems is we don't, we don't respect God as God. You're right. Because yeah. with God, that's how come they keep doing the same old thing because they say, well, I, 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 God. God ain't going to do that to him. Uh, see, he said he turned them over to a reprobate man. He, yes, he did. Who knew the results of their sins, but yet they continued to do it. And so, in, 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 in lieu of your point, uh, it, it, I think sometimes it's because they know, they know about him, but they don't have that personal relationship. That's the kicker. The, the glorification of God. That's the God. kicker. That's right. Well. But always remember now, Whenever their eyes was open, they were innocent until they disobeyed God and their eyes was open. Now since your eyes are open, guess what? You have a choice to choose between good and evil. Huh? So it's all up to the choices that you make. But once they messed up sin in it into the world, didn't it? Yes. I mean, and their the mind became diseased. Sin's like a disease, isn't it? And when, when you study sin, it's like a disease. And if you would look at it, I said their mind had became diseased because of the fact that they disobeyed God and sinned. Now, now, if you ever study diseases, the study of diseases is called pathology. Y'all know right from wrong. Huh? Papa said, when I have the will to do good, evil was still there. But things that I wanted to do, I found myself not doing. And things that I didn't want to do, those were I found myself doing. Why? Because of sin. My mind is diseased. Now, I can't make the right choices. Even if I tried. Man tried that all over, over 42 generations and realized they still couldn't make the right choices. But God said he's going to have to do something about that. that. That's why Jesus came, would he? He came because of the fact that he had the cure uh, 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 for, 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 for a sin-sick mind. He knew man was diseased. We come up with a lot of cures for all kinds of disease, but they could not come up with the cure for sin. It was only Jesus that bought the cure for sin. And what was the cure for sin? When they pierced him in the side. Mm. Blood and water come out of his side. The water for, for cleansing, the blood for saving. So, so once you had that diseased mind, that, that sin, you had to make sure that you found that fountain that was filled with blood. That was what drawn from Emmanuel's veins. 
Right? That's why he says sinners, sinners can plunge beneath that flood and lose all their guilt and stain. Yes, yes. Jesus bought the cure for sin by shedding his blood. Yes, he did. Because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Of sin. Amen, amen. And as we look into God's word, there are a few uh, 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 nuggets that we can glean. We understand in our dialect words, don't we? Huh? But he wants to communicate with us. That, that's why he came as the word. Our alphabet, 26 letters. Right? We have vocal cords, don't you? You have a tongue back there. How to help you form certain forms and, and sounds and, and words. And words make sentences and sentences make paragraphs. It don't make sense to say one plus one. When you go to school, one plus one plus one equal what? Three. I mean, that's, that, that's our comprehension when we see our mathematical numbers. But, but in God's book, it says one plus one plus one equals one. one. Equals one. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the three becomes one. Mm -hmm. there, there are no separate ones. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they are three, yet they are one. They are equal. They have the same attributes. All of them are, are omnipresent. All of them are omniscient. All of them are immutable. All of them are sleepless. I mean, when you look at all three of them, so that's when one, uh, when three becomes one. But when you study some other religions, hmm, some other religions don't even believe in the Holy Spirit. And my brother, that's one of the problems why we have today. Because remember in the book of Acts, the 19th chapter, huh, when Paul and Silas them went to some of the Christians, they had the power of Harvey them and pulled them over because they asked them had they been filled with the Holy Spirit. And they said, we have not so much even heard of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And if you haven't heard of the Holy Spirit, how can you be directed by the Holy Spirit? Yeah. He's the one that revealed who God is to us, Sister Darlene. God didn't come down here himself. God the Father is in heaven. Come on now, we look in the Bible, we're talking Bible. God the Son is at the right hand of the Father making intercessions for us. Yes, thank you, Lord. And remember, I will not leave you comfortless, but I will send you the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right, well, come on now, in the book of Acts 1 and 11, these men standing, gazing into heaven. This angel said, while you stand here gazing into heaven, don't you know this same Jesus, whom you see going up, is coming back one day. And he haven't came back yet, so he's still up at the right hand of the Father. Amen. The help that we have here to reveal all truth to reveal right and wrong would be the Holy Spirit. Yes. He's our on-site God. When you own a construction a site, you, you need someone to go to, don't you? Yes. Now, he, he's the EEO of that, that site. While we're still down here, you have to go to Jesus to get information and instructions not through the Holy Spirit. <laughs> People don't realize and believe that. And you hear them up calling on God all the time and all that kind of junk. You can't do that unless the Holy Spirit communicates for you. Because you don't even know what you want yourself. <laughs> and God ain't trying to look at all that sin and stuff on you. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Yes. Because when you look at us, he see the blood of Jesus, don't you? Yes. But see, you have to know him to understand this job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't know him, a lot of this is foreign to you. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the Trinity. Some religions don't believe in the Trinity. Y'all do know that, don't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, they don't believe in no Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't even believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. right. Some don't even believe that God had a son. Come on, God didn't have no kids. Right. Mm -hmm. and some talking about God had another son. <laughs> Y'all need to know that you know that you know what you know. Yeah, right. yeah. And don't let nobody turn all that stuff around. Because it's some stuff out there. That's why the Lord always have a nucleus, or I would say a small number, of ambassadors to work at the embassy that he set up down here. Most ambassadors that work at embassies, they're either bilingual or trilingual, don't they? They have to know their language. 
In their culture, they have no our language and culture. When God set up his embassy down here on earth and called us to be ambassadors at his embassy, guess what? We are a bunch of has-beens. You right. No, you right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't work unless you know two languages. You got to know the language of the world. You got to know the language of God. We were has-been, has-been drunk, has-been alcoholic, has-been drug addict, has-been a liar, has-been a cheat, has-been a thief. We're a bunch of has-beens. But because of God's grace and mercy, we're not has-beens anymore, Ernest. All right, tell the truth. We can work at the embassy as an ambassador, and we know Christ well enough and have a relationship with him well enough that we can point someone else to Jesus because we can tell them I used to be a drunk I used to drink all the time until one day somebody told me about Jesus. Amen. Amen.